Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci. Um, today we're having a little vest pocket uh, video and it's a story about how my Seiko 5 saved my Patek Philippe. Um, basically what happened is that I had some stuff I had to do out uh, in in the yard with the ice and the snow and so I thought, well, I had my Patek Philippe on. I thought, well, I'm going to change it and uh, put on my Seiko 5. When I was out there, I there was a part of the ice that like that was invisible under the grass of all places. I went down really hard and bam, <laughs> so my Seiko saved it. So while we're talking about Seikos, I thought I'd say something about them. It's, it's a little watch I really like. And um, it has, it's called a Seiko 5 because it has five attributes. It has an automatic movement, which is, was the first one in Japan. Uh, day date display at uh, 3 o'clock. Water resistant, recessed um, crown at 4 o'clock down here. And... It's got a case and a bracelet uh, built for durability. Anyway, uh, the lower left there is the first one, the first Seiko 5. That one was from, they started the Seiko 5 project in 1963, but the one on the uh, left there on the bottom was the first one. Um, and the one I got uh, over on the right there is from 2020. And you can, if you look at them, there's, there's been some differences, but not a lot. Uh, there really isn't a lot of differences in the movement. So the one that came out in uh, 1968 and the one that uh, the 2020 versions uh, that you can get are pretty much the same. And Seiko 5s come in a number of different uh, models. They have the sports model. Uh, this one is orange. They have black and blue and some other uh, colors as well. And uh, then they have what they call the suits model. And this one is a little more formal. Um, that's uh, as such. I I suppose uh, the one I like the looks of was this one because it has a light uh, color that's sort of a cream colored dial and it's easy for me to, to see it. Uh, but again, you still have the crown down there at four o'clock. It's recessed, well protected. Okay, uh, and then you have this one called the uh, the Specialist on the left there, and then another one uh, called the Street. For some reason, all of the models begin with S, so the Specialist, the Sport, the Street. <laughs> I don't know why, and um, they're, they're simply sort of different arrangements and coloring and so forth on on a on a Seiko 5. This one is called the Sense. And over to the right there, you can see the new logo. The uh, the logo at the outset on the uh, first one we looked at up at the top there is their original logo. And they changed it in 2019 to this little S. Now, uh, you know, when we usually we're talking about high horology and some some really, you know, master craftsman's work, and the Seiko Five is very much a mass-produced watch, but it's something about it I like. I don't know it. it uh, when I went down hard on the ice, this thing just it was right on the watch too. It was on my left hand, hung in there, did a good job, and like I said, it saved my. Uh, by Patek Philippe. Anyway, uh, we had a little survey and I had all of these different ones and most likely that people would get uh, for this coming year for 2020 was a Seiko 5. <laughs> it was the only one that was realistically affordable too. By the way too, these are all, I mean, the, the one I got is under $100 and they're not expensive watches, but they're sort of cool to have one. I like the little day date over at uh, three o'clock, and yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a nice little watch and something that uh, thought you'd you'd like to hear about. Okay, so 
Happy New Year, and until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Outside of the Art and Science of Watch Collection. Thank you.